Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to do an update for my Finnish 20 in 2020 and I have made some amazing progress for this month and I asked you guys last time, last update, if you wanted this to be rolling or whatever and most of you said yes so that is what I am going to do to get through as many products as I can and I'm doing pretty well because I already have five empties and I decluttered two products last update so i'm i'm doing pretty good i think <laughs> but yeah i am uh, i'm just doing 20 and 20 having 20 products in this project at all time so hopefully i can use up more than 20 items let me show you the five empties that i have for this month and they are all skincare body care whatever the first empty i have is my franken bottle lotion that i rolled in of course and this was a mixture of two body lotions and some shimmer thing and highlighter, whatever. So I'm pretty excited that this is done because then I can work on some of the many body lotions that I have in my collection. And I can always use this top for something else. So I'm going to clean it up and reuse it. The next four products are from the brand Nina Shaw, which is a Danish brand. It was from a gift set that I got for Christmas in 2018 or something. Yeah, 2018. So it was time to use it up, basically. I have the face cream for normal skin. I liked it, but at the same time, I really didn't like the smell. <laughs> so, And I have the small body lotion. This I couldn't measure because it's not see-through or anything and I can't get anything out so I can measure. So this was just, it's gone when it's gone and it is gone this month. The body lotion. I started up here. It was brand new when I rolled it in. And last time I was down to here and now I finished it. It was like one use left or something. I have the face serum and last time I was here and in the intro as well. That was kind of sad when I realized it was all the way down to here when I began. But it is done and I'm pretty excited about it <laughs> to be honest. Because these items they have a, a certain smell that I'm not really a fan of. So I'm, I'm, I'm happy these are out. And the face scrub. I used the face scrub in the shower. So intro, and yes, this was brand new, so that was very sad. Intro, first update, and done. Five items done, and I'm going to roll in five new items. And I think I'm going to show them to you now, why not? And then we can take the progress afterwards. For the body lotion, I am rolling in another body lotion. It is the Rituals, the Ritual of Sakura Magic Touch Body Cream. It's kind of a body butter and it's really, really nice. I love the lid. So this is going to be reused as well because it is absolutely stunning. This is where I am now. I have used it quite a bit since I finished the Franken Lotion, you know. So yeah, it's not brand new anymore. But there's a ton of lotion in this. 7.4 fluid ounces or 220, 220 milliliters. So that is a good amount. <laughs> then I'm rolling in a salt body scrub from Matas Nature, Matas Nature line and that is a Danish drugstore brand like also. This is we E vitamin and um, organic aloe. Uh, aloe. Um, so this is really, really nice. I really love it. But it is time to use it up because it is on the older side. So this is where I am now. Not very good at using this consistently in the shower. But I really want to use it every single time I shower. Um, at least on my upper part of my body. Because that is where I apparently break out. This is going to be used up this year. I need to get it out. I don't have that many body, uh, body scrubs. So it's not because I'm hoarding it. It's just... it's. I've had it for a long time. For the other face scrub, I'm rolling in the other one that I have. It is the Skin Academy, Skin Academy Pure Cleansing Facial Scrub. I actually haven't marked this, but it's really low. It's like down to here or something. So in the middle of the leaf. So I'm going to mark that right now. Maybe a little bit lower, but we're just going to take it 
as it is. Then for my serum, I'm going to roll in this one. This is the, the Body Shop Drops of Youth, Youth Concentrate. This is an amazing serum and I can't wait to get more use out of it. I used it quite a bit until I started this project. I got it in my advent calendar from the Body Shop and this is amazing. I started, I used it once before uh, because I got it in a glossy box. Yeah, it's amazing. I really, really love that one. And then I'm going to roll in a perfume because I have too many. Simply as that. And this this is not the original color of the perfume, so I thought it's time. This is the One Direction Our Moment perfume. It is one of my favorites. I used up a small, small bottle of this and then I bought the full size. Totally stupid of me because I don't go through perfume, but I loved it so much that I needed needed to have it um, at that point in time and it was on sale and everything so this is how it's looking like i can't get the lid on the top on anymore but it's so cute with the crown and everything i love it but yes i did mark it a weak line but it is there can you see no you can't damn it here so in the middle of this crooked thing right here i have about half left which I need to use up. So those five items are my Rollins, and then we can just take the rest of the body care and then end with makeup because that is the most fun and we can end on a good note, right? <laughs> okay, this one I have used a few times. I haven't marked it yet, but I don't think there's that much progress, maybe a little bit. And um, this is my heat protection spray that I decanned because the spray broke on me. It is the Tresemme heat protection spray, I think it's called. Um, so yes, this is just a nice spray and I don't use it as much because I don't heat my hair with a curling wand or a flat iron or whatever it's called. I don't do that often so that is why I don't have that much progress. So I don't need it in my life because I do it so rare that my hair is not damaged from it. Then we have my needle show hand cream and this is the last one from the gift box. I am down to here right now so I have used it pretty consistently since the intro and this lives on my disc at work or in my bag when I go somewhere so I have all, it. I always have it with me. Um, and this point in time I am working from home so it is standing right beside my computer. So yes, I love this hand cream very much. It doesn't smell like the other products, so that is really, really nice, actually. <laughs> then we have my W7 Glow It All Multi Glow Serum. This is the pink version. I used up the blue one last year. And this is my progress lines. Intro first update, and now I'm down to here. I did more progress this month, and I'm trying to be more consistent at using this every single morning before I put on makeup, because it gives a nice glow under the foundation. I don't have it on today, though, but... Yeah, I don't see this as a problem to be used up. I just need to be more consistent than I already am. I know I can make more progress than I have done this time. So I expect more progress by next update. Then we have the Body Shop Steady Himalayan Charcoal Purifying Glow Mask. I rolled this in last time because the mask that I had in this project, it dried out. It was dried out when I put it in, but I didn't realize. So yeah, I have used this once a week or something like that. I need to use it tonight because it's Sunday. This is going down. I'm using it and I'm not neglecting it. It doesn't go very fast because I only use it in my T-zone um, because I'm oily there and not here. <laughs> then we have my W7 Jelly Crush Lip Scrub. I have tried to use this up for a long time now because it was in my Food for Thought project pan as well. Um, but I did use it quite a bit this month, I think. I don't know if you can see any progress, but I'm really trying, guys. I'm really, really trying. You have no idea. Then we have the makeup products. And this one is not entirely makeup item, but I haven't used it yet because it's not summer yet. It's only beginning to be a little bit more spring, like almost blue sky. Sorry. Um, so I have not used it yet, but I'm going to mix this in with my body lotion when we come more near spring. Um, I don't see this as a problem to be used up. It just needs to be warmer in Denmark because in Denmark we have a cold weather thing. Yeah. 
I'm still at that mark as I was two months ago. But I did put it in because I wanted to use it up this year and I have the whole year to do it so I feel fine. <laughs> Let's take this one. This is the W7 I Got The Power All Day Wear Eyeshadow Base Primer. Can you see the sun? <laughs> it's getting dark. I even had my lights on but yeah, you know. This eye primer right here, I use it every single day and that pays off. I am so close at this having this done i'm so excited it's not my favorite eye primer and it is beginning to clump a little bit um so i think it is on its last leg maybe it's drying up or it's kind of going bad um i don't react to it um so i'm really excited to have this done by the next update because then i can work on a new one because this is this needs to go <laughs> it is really on its last leg Product wise and progress wise. We have my bronzer from, I was going to say Bourjois, but it's not. It is my Franken bronzer that I Franken last time, or in the beginning of January actually. It is something from an Essence bronzer, my Hula bronzer from Benefit, something from a NYX bronzer, a Manica Dao duo eyeshadow bronzer thing. So this is everything in one and I absolutely adore this bronzer because it is perfect. For me this time of year because I'm pale as paper basically and I can build this up so it is going to be perfect for summer as well so I see this as an all year round bronzer and I'm really really excited about this so it has a slight shimmer to it but you can't really see it on the skin and that is exactly what I like so this is where I am now. You can see it's cracked because I didn't put enough oil in it when I repressed it. And I'm not going to repress it again. I'm just not. You can see the print from the towel that I used to press it. It is rubbing off so that is really really nice. And you can kind of see some progress. I thought I saw some pans in some of the cracks. Um, yesterday when I used it. That's not going to be pan soon but maybe in the cracks are going to be deeper, wider or something so you can see the pan, I don't know. But yeah, I'm pretty excited about this bronzer and I love using it. It's not pretty but I love it on my skin. The other bronzer thing I have it is my NYX blush in taupe and I use this as a contour. I haven't used it today because I forgot <laughs> and that is the case most time. I forget. I have no idea if I can finish this. I don't know if I even want a contour in my collection. I do have a few in a palette. Uh, the NYX Highlight and Contour Pro palette thing. I have no idea if you can see progress, but you will see on the picture if there is any. I have used it most times, but I often also forget about it. Not that good. Then we have my cream blush from The Bourne. This one right here. And this is my progress. I have thought about uh, repressing it, putting it into the middle or on the side or something because it is getting really hard to get some product out of it when I want to apply it. So let me know what you do in these situations if you repress it um, or what. I put on quite a bit so it can kind of show through the foundation. It's not my favorite look of all time but I do it. And this is a very, very red blush. This is blended out. So it's very intense. So that's why I do it underneath my foundation. Otherwise, I can look like a clown. Yeah. And I don't want that. My MAC Pro Long Wear Concealer. That is... I'm going to insert a side-by-side -side photo because that is the most convenient in this matter. Because I can't, I'm not going to mark it on the bottle. I'm just not. So maybe you can see some progress. I I use it every single day. So there's progress. If you can see it, I have no idea. But I'm trying, you know, can't do better than that. We have my W7 the Vegan HD Foundation. I love this stuff, but it is getting too, too dark and it is getting very low. So it is beginning to oxidize. So I'm going to use more of my more pale foundation to make, make it work but I'm so close at being done and this is going to be, to be done next time as well so I'm pretty excited about that I'm excited to have this done by next update three items left we can do it <laughs> the W7 Eye Dream Shadow Cream eyeshadow and 
this was completely full, almost completely new, brand new, full, whatever you want to say, when I rolled it in and it was kind of dry and I didn't want to declutter this one because this was my favorite color of this line. So I tried to put some jojoba oil in it and it did help. So I actually think I could have done that with the other one that I decluttered when I replaced it with this. Um, but I'm just not, I don't care. I have too much. I have too much product. So I'm going to put some jojoba oil in it again because it is getting dry and I can't reach the bottom. Um, so I didn't mark it in the intro because it was completely full and now I am down to here. So I have used up like half, which is insane. Four milliliters in these, so that is maybe why there's actually not that much product in it. Um, so 0 0.14 fluid ounces, so that is nothing. <laughs> but yeah, I'm pretty excited to have used up half of this product. That is amazing. Okay, then we have my P2 Impressive Gel Cadell Eyeliner in Dramatic Blue. And this is a twist up eyeliner. And this is how much I have left of this. So I'm using it quite a bit, but I am taking a break. Um, today I don't have any eyeliner on because I didn't feel like it. And I often have a black eyeliner on right now, so that is why. Then we have my W7 Double Prime Lips and Brows Duo Primer. This is how much I have left of this. There's not that much in it anymore. Um, and it ha it was broke from the base last... Um, yeah. I really hope I can use this up this year because I don't want it anymore and I don't care for it. <laughs> this is the P2 eyeliner. This is what I have used this month. I didn't use it for the first update because I simply just forgot and I tried to use up another eyeliner. I think that is pretty nice progress if you think I only used it for like two weeks. And then we have the lip primer. Not as nice progress, but it is getting down there and I'm excited about it. I hope you guys enjoyed this update. It was pretty long, but I had so much to talk about and hopefully we can have more empty slicks time. And I hope you guys are fine with me doing this as a rolling pan. I didn't intend to do that, but I really want to keep going. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and if you are new here, stick around on my channel, subscribe down below. I do a lot of product pans and empties and stuff like that. I love that kind of content and I love doing a challenge and I'm going to start a new project very soon. Um, I'm going to film it today, so I'm late at posting. I'm late with everything in life right now, except work. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed and you want to stick around and I see you guys in my next video and take care, please. Crazy times right now. Yeah, take care and I will see you guys next time.